A brand new weather satellite could be a big deal for more accurate forecasts. As a meteorologist, I'm genuinely excited about this. It includes cutting edge new tools that will capture even more information, making it easier to see storms coming. But let me back this up. For half a century, we've had continuous satellite observations of Earth, a crucial part of modern weather forecasting. They help us track clouds, sea surface temperature, ice coverage, wind speed, and more. Honestly, I couldn't do my job without them. And now, the newest in the fleet, GOES-19, is officially operational for the Western Hemisphere after months of testing and tweaking. For the next decade or so, this new satellite will track Atlantic hurricanes, monitor severe weather, atmospheric rivers, wildfires, even volcanic eruptions, all from a very specific height above Earth. It's in a special orbit that always matches Earth's rotation, so it always has the same view. But want to know what my favorite feature is? A super cool lightning detector that tracks lightning continuously and everywhere. So that means when storms like hurricanes move out of radar range, we can still monitor them and send out warnings. We actually tested this latest version during Hurricane Helene in September 2024. Frequent lightning completely enveloped the eye wall of the storm as it intensified on its final approach to the Florida coastline. GOES-19 helped spot the most intense thunderstorms, most likely to produce tornadoes, giving forecasters the heads up to issue life-saving alerts. Another cool feature, a brand new instrument pointed straight at the sun, the coronograph. This will make geomagnetic storm forecasts more accurate, which means we can be better prepared for the auroras and for the disruptions to technology. As for the previous satellite being replaced, it's been standing guard since 2017, but with a design life of 10 to 15 years, it's time for an upgrade. GOES-19 brings fresher sensors and updated tech. NOAA will move the old satellite to a parking orbit on standby in case it's ever needed again.